Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Buccaneers Daily, where we post daily Tampa Bay Buccaneers content. If that is something you enjoy, and you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Just got back from Tampa yesterday. I forget what that place is in that airport, but I had like a bacon, egg, and cheese. It was oh, <laughs> so good. But anyways, we're back home, we're back in Chicago, and um... We're making a Bucks video here today. Going to talk a little bit about Russell Gage because last week Tom Brady said this on Russell Gage who was signed as the third option for the Buccaneers this past season. He has to have a big year Brady said about Gage via ESPN's Jenna Lane. That, that is a very important role for an offense that throws the ball as much as we do. So last season with the Atlanta Falcons, Gage played solid year before that he played solid what you're looking at right now is the last two seasons about 66 catches for 775 yards about four touchdowns each season not combined each of the last two seasons on average just about so right now the Buccaneers are without Chris Godwin they don't really even have a timetable for him just in general because Torres ACL so I'm still optimistic. I'm still hopeful that Godwin will be back at like pretty earlier than maybe some people are anticipating. I don't I definitely don't want him rushed back, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal that Chris Godwin's going to miss, you know, the first couple of weeks or so of this season. So, Gage is definitely going to see an increase in targets. He's going to have to step up and hopefully he does. Hopefully that confidence is what I'm thinking just transfers over. You know, I'm thinking with the absence of Godwin, Gage really just impresses. I think he's going to be efficient and impress. And then once Godwin comes back, he's just going to ride that momentum, ride that confidence right into the postseason with Tom Brady. And that would be really critical. I, we just learned actually that Rob Gronkowski is retiring. I mean, as crazy as it is, I, I wouldn't even count like an unretirement off of the table. But at this point, you know, I think it's better. I better. I think it's better to just kind of forget about Gronkowski coming back to the Bucks. If that's what he decides. That is great. The Bucks will definitely op welcome him with open arms. But for now, you know, you kind of. I mean, it's only late June, but at the same time, it's already late June. So, you know, I don't think Gronk's coming back. I think the Bucks tight end system, the Bucks tight end option. Sorry, I should say, is perfectly fine, but. If Russell Gage can't step up, then Tyler Johnson's going to be looking at a bigger role for himself. Played the last two years with Tom Brady, so he's been in that system. But I would say Russell Gage is ready for a breakout season. I know I've made a Gage video, but I thought it was just, you know, I think Tom wanting Gage, I think Tom saying these comments about Gage, I think he is just like myself and very hopeful that he is going to have a breakout season. I don't know if it's going to be a crazy analytical statistical breakout season. My guess is no, especially with the ev eventual return of Chris Godwin, but I think he is going to be extremely efficient and a little diamond in the rough for the Buccaneers offense. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Hit that like button, hit that sub button as always, and I'll see you guys later.